else up y'all was popping crack next day uh, about to react to another DDG vid. Um, apparently he is crashing out on Joe Budden again. Again, okay? And Joe Budden has apparently responded and he's now talking mess about DDG again outside of the podcast it looks like. So yeah. <laughs> People are still out here running their mouths. Listen, I'm here for it. Keep running your mouth. Give, gives us content to react to, okay? Please keep it up. I mean, I don't think you should. <laughs> you know, I don't think it's good for you personally, but, you know, it, it works for me and other people who are keeping up with the, with the tea. Um, anyway, let, let's hear what he has to say. Let's watch. Buddy, you don't really know who you talking to for real. And I don't even come on here on no... Like, I ain't coming on here to say I'm going to whoop your ass. I will... Just don't get it fucked But I ain't coming over here to say that. You feel me? Yeah. In music, I got way more accolades than you in music. And I'm doing way better than you in life. Y'all really think that DDG will beat the shit out of Joe Budden? Really? Y'all think that? I mean, there's the age difference, of course. But that don't mean a lot. I've seen some older dudes. You know, put the beats on some younger guys. So it's not just that. Um, DDG, did he box at one point? Maybe. Did he, I don't know. Y'all let me know what y'all And I'm 26 and you're 44. 44. I didn't know who Joe Budden was until he sat next to academics. I ain't know. He keep flexing his age. Let's see. Because I don't think 26 is the youngest to keep with the age shaming um, shenanigans. But let's just see. DDG birthday. The fucking irony. What's today? His birthday <laughs> is October 10th. So he's about to be 27. You're 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 in your late twenties. You can't age shame people once you hit the late twenties. I personally think you can't age shame once you pass twenty two. Twenty three. <laughs> I I just feel like you you're kind of getting a little older and to these younger kids, you are you're you're technically old. In t late twenties, you're 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 technically old to a lot of people who, who watch you even and who are constantly on the internet. So, I think that's odd that he keeps trying to lean on that. 27? I, I'm, I'm, I was surprised that he was 26, honestly. I don't know why, but I, I just kept associating DDG with a younger age. Maybe it is how he carries himself online. I'm not sure. But I was thinking like 23 or something. But yeah, that wouldn't make sense. Because yeah, Kai is like 21, I think 22. And yeah, he's been online a long time. So yeah, it does make sense that he's in his late 20s. But it's like... <laughs> And obviously, 27 is still young. It's not old by any means, but you, you got to think of just relative to the, the kids online. That is like, anyway. Who Joe was tell the Migos down there? You know Wait, what? what? I, didn't know who, Academics or, I didn't know who Joe Budden was until he sat next to Academics. I didn't know who sure. Joe Budden was tell the Migos down there. You know what they did. Now. Everybody know what the Migos did. That was the most... I know about Joe Budden. And was like, 20 hey, years? Buddy. It took you 20 years to go gold? Wait, what that mean? To get a gold to get a gold record, you got to sell 500,000 copies, right? Mind you, just to put it in perspective, I got three gold records and one double platinum. But you can't you can't shame him music-wise either cuz he doesn't make music anymore. Like he's a retired rapper. So <laughs> you can't really lean on that. You could I guess shame him and say you're a failed rapper like you know, it didn't work out for you, so you had to turn to podcast, and I guess you could say that, but now he's a very successful podcaster, and he's become a millionaire from it, so it's like, uh, I don't know if these insults are really hitting like he think they hit. And I ain't, I'm nowhere, this man is old enough to be my uncle, my Yeah, how about you can't, so no, old not old your old daddy. Old. I looked up his accolades, and it made me feel way better about myself, because <laughs> a lot of people be on me crazy, but these Ain't even got it. You think he paused before he said my daddy? I mean, he could technically if your dad had you super duper young, but it's like, come on, most like most people ain't having kids. That what was that, fifteen, sixteen? Like that's not really a a thing. Yeah, it's not that common. I'll say that it happens, but it's not very common. Um, especially like anyway. Um, 
But yeah, he paused before he said, <laughs> that's why he said uncle first. <laughs> this man has one plaque in his home. Mm. One plaque. That's the only one he got? The only one he got. He been waiting at the mailbox for 20 years. Why he keep getting on podcast? You know, I ain't gonna lie. I did a little research. You a deadbeat dad. I know he is. He a deadbeat dad. Boy, boy. Yes, he's a deadbeat dad. And he was talking on your situation with your baby mama? Yes. Why? Wow. Is what time? I've never heard the best about that. He's a deadbeat. I have no respect for deadbeats, bro. Like, it's just like... Who probably, said that? I've never heard that. old nigga to be DMing 18-year-olds and shit. But weird-ass nigga. Yeah, he you know, wanted them, he he wanted them little old niggas. He like, did tie with... He's a deadbeat. I looked it up. No, we got to take care of him. His it son made a whole song about him. Oh. As a matter of fact, Joe Budden's son, come on the podcast, bro. And I might throw you a little bag or something. I know your daddy ain't giving you no money. Your daddy ain't supporting you in no way, shape, or form. I know the child support is over now. It's like, man, oh, see, I don't know about man, that. I tell you a little bit of money. Like, I didn't know this. I looked this up today. Joe Button is bisexual. Right. I swear, I looked it up. I don't really want. All right, to now you losing paper. credibility. Because <laughs> I mean, anybody with common sense knows that he was just being stupid when he said that. Talk about you uh, jumping on your baby mama's stomach to. Get rid of Wait, well, it's like, I ain't, I ain't trying I to talk about, about that. Talk about that no, this is just public. This can't be. There was a clip. Allegedly. Oh, he, oh, he, he hurt her. He went and did some research. He was like that that cat on the list. <laughs> that meme of that cat on the laptop. Looking for, for some ammo to come back at Joe Budden with. So he really was bothered by what Joe Budden said. It's like, oh, okay. This the is word in there is good. Allegedly. This man was jumping on his baby mama's stomach to get rid of the baby. That, 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 that is like crazy. That nigga got a bald head. Yeah, people head, have right? said that he's smooth head ass. I don't yeah, know. I slap shit out your head. If I, I ever see you, up, video, I know, I if I ever <laughs> see you, nigga, and your head out, if your head, your you got a head on, I'll let you slap. <laughs> if your head out, I'm slapping it. <laughs> like a fresh cut. <laughs> Like a friend, I could talk about his sexual assault case, but on his former employee, but I don't even want to get into that. I feel like that's Oop, the T, the T. Some of that I did not know about, but he loses some credibility because he spoke about the whole bisexual thing, and it's like, okay, that wasn't actually true. But anyway, let's hear what Joe Ben has to say. He pulled the baddest in the game for his age. Give him some show him some love. And he make a lot of money doing all that YouTube shit, apparently. Now, I was really upset that he's the reason why he was around bro? Blueface and Krishan. Apparently, he real cool, cool with Blueface. So, that's how that shit happened. But, apparently, he, he doing a lot out here. He just, he making a lot of money. He's just not in our old people. He probably won't do shit else. The mermaid flop. <laughs> was that? That's the shit shit flop. Like, come on. Let's get he also- Ain't well, nobody I- say nothing crazy about that boy. Who cares? Fuck him. Oh. <laughs> you sound so good. Tell us more. Then why you ain't tree casting that? Because I like him. Yeah. Oh, because I, I like him. Oh, okay. That's well, why. You don't even know this other guy did not like him. What do you say? You don't know DDG. I've that seen way. enough. <laughs> nah, don't do that, Joe, because you've had people that you didn't like before, and then you do like a pull-up or an interview with them on the Dog, and then, that will, and then that will change. That's fine. But until then, this is how I feel. I don't give a fuck how y'all feel about it, and that's it. Joe, you call this fucking band here and shit. Like the yeah, fuck out of here. You niggas are soft. We, we, we gotta talk about it. That man is making his money in his own right. I can't wait to DDG and Tyler make a collab. Yep. Yo, why are you stepping on our topics? We're not being soft. We're just not. We have topics. <laughs> this guy. Nigga, you was wrong. He's stepping on it because he was loud and wrong. That's why. Loud and wrong. So I'm stepping on it because I heard him dad play the wrong. clips. And that was the nicest Joe Button podcast I've ever. I've, I've wow. never been on that bar. That was you believe nice. That? Yes. You believe that? You niggas are soft. I'm genuinely curious. The well, nicest? He was wrong for what he said. Yeah, I don't think like, he was that was wrong. Yeah. Nigga, a little, was, but not. I've heard him on Facebook. That nigga said you ain't nobody without your girl. He said you ain't nobody without your girl. That's what he did. That nigga was trying to get caught because he's seen how some shit heated up for fucking Cardi. Ain't nobody needed a statement for no DDG to go figure out who the fuck he was. He was caught chasing. And... Joe trying to be the best in the room. Yeah, I, I, yeah, I, I, ain't gonna, I ain't gonna lie. I ain't gonna lie. The whole take your magnesium pills and all that. I was like, all right, man. Like, not you, you old bitch and all that. I was like, all right, you talk about the black and all man, that. Just like, oh, where have we seen that before? Oh. All right, it looks like that's all that Joe said for now. Fuck him. That's his stance. <laughs> um, I don't know what people.
people get so upset by, you know, Joe's opinion. And and they act like, oh, he's irrelevant and you ain't shit, da da da. If he was all those things, then why do you care enough to crash out like this? If if he's everything that you say he is and you're not bothered by his opinion of you, then why are you getting so angry <laughs> enough to come at him multiple times and do research to you know find out his past i didn't know a lot of these things that he mentioned about him being a deadbeat dad i've never heard that before but he said there's a whole song that his son made about him like i didn't i didn't know this but yeah you did all this research um so that you can insult him and keep talking about you know his opinion of you but it's like <laughs> Uh, it's his job to speak on these things. I feel like he he was a little harsh, but I've definitely heard him say a lot worse. So I don't think it warranted all of this from DDG. But that's just my opinion. But, you know, hey, keep it up. I'm here to react to the shenanigans. So, hey, respond again if you like. Y'all let me know what y'all think. Let me know what other videos you've been watching. I'll see y'all in the next one. Bye!